What's up, mentorship freaks? It's the daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Today we're talking about self-awareness. Self-awareness is your your ability to understand all your own different emotions in all different situations. This is what you need to learn, what you need to learn how to be aware of. It's important. It's important in every area of your life. Obviously in business and sales, but in your personal relationships, in your family, your friends, everywhere. Basically learning what pushes your freaking buttons. Learn and what to be aware of in your life, in your surroundings, before it even happens. You need to be aware before shit happens, before you make a mistake, before you do something stupid, say something stupid, react to something in a stupid way. Don't let your emotions be in the driver's seat or it's going to hold you back. It's going to sabotage you and you will lose every freaking time. You need to get to know yourself better than you already do. You need to, self-awareness means being willing to get to know yourself better, but also coming to the realization that you don't know yourself well enough. You think you know yourself you don't know yourself as, as good as you think you do. You need to learn to know yourself better and more than you ever have before. Because guess what? You can't avoid your freaking emotions. You can't avoid them. It's, it's impossible. So you need to be aware of them first as, it's, as you're experiencing it before you can at least attempt to control your reactions to it. You, you need to be aware of it coming in first. And then also be open to actually learning about yourself. You need to lose your fucking ego. We already know that. We've talked about that many times before. Lose the freaking ego. It has to happen. Because if you take away your emotions power, take, take away the power of your emotions and don't let them over, overpower you by noticing it, stopping it, discovering where it came from, realizing what are your hot buttons, what, what, what pushes your buttons, what, free, what pisses you off. And then figure out why some emotions hit harder than others, why some are stronger than others, and why you. And then you're gonna need to look at those a little bit deeper and a little harder. And it's gonna be a little harder to make them calm down. A lot of times you're gonna realize it's from some fucked up past you had as a kid or whatever. Mommy and daddy didn't freaking hug you enough or whatever it is. Then you realize you need to realize that your state of emotions and reactions it's gonna affect everyone in your freaking sector, everyone around you, the people who you lead, the people. In your all your family members, your friends, your neighbors, everyone. It's going to affect everyone in your, around you in your life. You need to realize that shit. It's going to affect everyone in one way or the other. So get your shit together. Your mood affects everyone around you, which is basically your emotions. You're, you have a shitty mood, your team's going to have a shitty mood. You're in a good mood, your team's going to probably be in a good mood. Especially when it comes to those that you lead. Don't let yourself slip up. Not one single comment. Not one wrong tone of your voice. Not one quick message. Because you're going to lose that trust of your team like that. One bad fucking word that comes out the wrong way. That's what they're going to remember. That's what they're going to hear every freaking time you talk to them. People, like especially the people you lead, shouldn't see you as stiff and rigid, as an uptight freaking dickhead. Or someone that's always stressed out and running around, rushing, never has time for them. You should always be be aware if you're giving off these signals to someone because no one's going to want to follow you. No one's going to respect you for that shit. Then learn from the emotions that, that get the best of you. Like learning from any failure. Gain valuable information. Like what caused this shit? How did I let this take control of me? Then get feedback. And your ego again has to be fucking tossed to the side. Get feedback. Ask people that follow you and people that you lead for open and honest feedback. Tell them what you're working on. Tell them what you're trying to get better at. And it's going to help you improve. But you need to be willing to take whatever they tell you and just let that feedback soak in. Don't posture up and, and I feel like you have to defend yourself against whatever feedback they have. Because things that people do are, are things that push your buttons. Guess what? It's not about them. It's about you. It's not about them. It pushes your buttons. You let them push your buttons. It's about you. You let yourself react that way. That shit is about you. If you get frustrated, that's on you. You get pissed off, angry, that's on you. Anger isn't fucking manly. Screaming, throwing a fit, that is not manly. That's that's a, that's the bitch in you coming out. If you get frustrated, notice it, figure out what, what 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 caused it, figure out what to do with it before anyone even notices it. You need to be in tune. Self-awareness means being in tune with your thoughts, your feelings, both positive and freaking negative. Realize what roadblocks that you're causing yourself. You are causing these roadblocks. Realize what they are. And then always be aware that people are always freaking watching you. They're always watching you. And they're always looking to see how aware you are. How you deal with different situations. How you deal with shit that goes on. Especially under pressure. And especially in the fucking, on the battlefield. How do you react? 
your team is watching, your family's watching, your fucking competitors and your enemies are watching, how do you react? All right, if I throw this mortar round over at you, what are you going to do? So now I know, next time I throw a mortar round, exactly how you're going to react. And I'm going to counter, I'm going to counteract, counteract that and go against and, and help it go against you. Use your own emotions against you. Emotion is energy and it's infectious to everyone around you. Be aware of what you're feeling and what you're letting out into the environment around you. Control your shit, but it, you can't control it until you're first fucking aware of it. Be conscious of it. Like in have intentions in your thoughts. Be intentional with your thoughts. Be conscious about your thoughts. That's what self-awareness is. We're going to break this down to four parts. Self-awareness and all the different rest of the emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. The four pieces. I will talk to you later. This is Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.